work on this. Uh, uh. Jesus Christ, dude. We don't even know where the hell we're going at all, man. And plus, I'm hungry as shit. I want some Chick-fil-A right now. Uh, can you stop promoting your damn fucking restaurant, please? It's fast food. Shut up. We've been traveling in one direction. We don't know where the hell we are. Ow. It sucks for you guys, because I'm a ghost and I can fuck and shit, boy. Uh, hell yeah, dude. Uh, oh, my God, man. Like, what the hell is that? What is that? Christmas like? It's like August, man. It's not even fucking December, dude. Like, what the fuck? Ugh. Whatever, man. Uh, if, uh, if people want to celebrate Christmas like four months earlier than it's supposed to be celebrated, they don't care. Wait, what the hell is that thing over there? What? What the hell? There's people trespassing on my junkyard? Oh, hell no! Nah. I'm gonna chop your asses up! Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Wait, what? Is that a crab? In my junkyard? Hell no! Nah. This land ain't for crab! Wait, what? Yeah. Hello, guys, today. We're gonna be Ninja Gaiden, so, so yeah. The story follows Ria Asiba as he travels to America to, to avenge his deceased father. While he's in America, he learns a someone named the Jiku, who plans to take over the world by releasing a central demon containing two statues, like Anshaw statues. Anyway, before we get into the game, let's talk about the title. The title of the game is Ninja Gaiden while Europe is Shadow Warriors. Anyway, now let's get into the game. The, the NES version is a 2D style scroller, while the arcade version is a beat em up, like. Streets of Rage or Final Fight, but yeah. Anyway, the gameplay in this garden is really fun, but it's, re it, it's really hard as well. Well, not until Act 5 and 6 anyway, but it's hard because of the enemies, because they respond to the nanosecond they're off the screen, the enemies themselves, and that lovely, lovely, lovely Castlevania not back. But yeah. Ryu uses his Dragon Sword and special weapons to kill enemies and bosses. Ryu can also cling and hop onto walls by the way, which can sometimes save you from falling into pits, like the wall jump from, from the Mega Man X to ZX series, but yeah. Anyway, the enemies we're hitting in this game are, one, the birds because they fly very fucking quickly, and when they hit you, they take three of your hit points off, but yeah. Um, yeah. Anyway, the creators slash creator corpses because they move incredibly fast like the Hunchback from Castlevania. And lastly, the soldier dudes because they're placed in really aggravating spots. Now let's get into the special weapons. The Ninja Star is your basic sub-weapon, once it's thrown, it, it will not stop until it either leaves the screen or hits an enemy. So, yeah. The Windmill Star is pretty much a boomerang. Once it's thrown, it will continuously fly back and forth on the screen until, it com until you touch it. So, yeah. Anyways, the Triple Flame, once when activated, you'll throw a set of three flames that fly it up in a spiral. So, yeah. The Fire Wheel, once collected, will be surrounded with a circle of fire that kills anything you come in contact with, but once your Fire Wheel disappears, you don't, you don't get to keep it, and you have to get a new weapon, by the way. So, yeah. And lastly, the best sub-weapon in the game, the Spin Slash. When activated, you become a spinning weapon of death, and you can kill anything in your way, any, anything in your sight. But, yeah, also, it can drain through your spirit points pretty fast, and also, it can wreck the shit out of bosses, man. So, yeah. The soundtrack is pretty fucking awesome, man. It's almost as good as Castlevania 1 and 3. The bosses are extremely fucking easy, aside from Jiku, and even the demon when you get him pattered down. Also, by the way, if you fuck up on a boss, it sends you to the previous stage. Oh, oh, until like stage 6 when it sends you back to the first fucking stage for some reason. But, yeah. Anyway, after Ryu defeats the demon, Ken tells Ryu to leave him behind because of his wounds. After the temple collapses, Foster orders the girl to kill Ryu and take the demon statues, but she declines in two kits. The girl tells Ryu her name, which is Iri Lee, by the way, and they watch as the sun rises. Overall, Ninja Gaiden is a great game that you should play, and yeah, it's also, um, for, like, the first time you play the game, it's going to be pretty fucking difficult. Anyway, the rating is a 7.6 out of 10. Next time, we're going to review Ninja Gaiden 2, The Dark Shore of Chaos. Anyways. Hey, Koopa Troopa, is that you, man? Yeah, ever since the Magic Rubik's Cube video, I've been, uh, in a, I've been living in a junkyard. So actually, you must with me too. You must get your eyes on her, man. Fine, goddamn it. I was so comfortable on there and everything. I was like comfortable, man. What the hell? Hey, Koopa Troopa, where the hell are we? Oh, well, you guys are in Europe. Can you get rid of that damn gun already? Fine. Got the gun with cool in there, everything. Anyway, since you guys are here, what do you guys want? We're actually supposed to be in Canada right now. 
gaining the sword of disruption and breaking evil as the queen out of jail. Speaking of the sword of disruption, do you guys know what that is, by the way? Well, actually, we do, Goomba. Yeah, we'll get that information. Okay. Uh, move out the way, garbage. Got it. Alright, here it is. The Sword of Destruction is in Crystal City and Menstaba. You know you didn't even pronounce that right, right? Shut that up, Koopa Troopa. Fine, man. Anyway, uh, it's in the middle of Canada, so yeah, that's where it is. It also has maximum security over there, so y'all are gonna have to go come up with a good plan, or, you know, a new plan to get in there. Yeah, you can get Well, now that we know where to go, how exactly are we gonna get over there? That's a good question. Can I, how are we gonna get over there? Well, since the airship exploded along with the pilot is dead, plus Captain Thwomp, uh, we're either gonna have to repair the helicopter over there, or travel by boat. How long would that take if we go as fast as possible? About a couple weeks to a month. Fuck! Well, can you guys repair the helicopter, please? I mean, I can do it, but Guma can't because he doesn't have any arms. It's gonna take a couple of days to repair it to back to a functional state, but yeah, I hope you guys went for that. What the fuck? Yeah, I can wait for that. But as long as you buy me some chip <laughs> fully. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, survive, man. Not for long, you have it, motherfucker. There's still meat for you. Why don't you just come and fight me like a man instead of transforming to every other character on, on his channel? Fine. I'll be a man. Huh? Alright, bring it on, motherfucker. Are you son of a bitch? Huh? Wait, what? Huh? He left a spite. <laughs> you can't beat me, motherfucker. I'm gone. Well, yes. But actually, no. We're bringing that back. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, hell no. Ultimate Michael Bay attack. Bam. Wait, did you just say open the Michael Bay attack? <laughs> You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna die. <laughs> oh, hell no. Where the hell do you think you're going? Electric cannonball. Ah, shit. You will never leave a life, motherfucker. Okay. Wait, what? Ow. Ugh. Oh my god, man. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, Jack. But this is where you need your end. TV remote. Laser beam. Wait, what? Oh, hell no. What? Laser beam. What? Laser beam. What? Ah, shit. Please don't kill me. Okay. Wait, what? Laser beam. I did it. I killed him. 